morning guys welcome to today last night it was cold out so we decided to bring the horses in and they knew exactly where they needed to go Penny was the first one in she went right to her stall and then Willow and then Gracie as normal but look at Penny today Penny you are a mess <laughs> you are a mess we've been sleeping You sleeping in your stall? Did you like your stall? Did you like your stall last night? Yes, I can see that. We're gonna get the horse's blankets on, but I have to brush Penny because that'll be that would be kind of itchy putting a blanket on when you're all dirty. I don't know if she's gonna let me brush her. And uh, the vet's coming. Uh, not the vet. The farrier's coming today, so we have to clean up all these stalls. That was a mistake. Should have left them out there one more night. They love their dad. Love their dad. Except for Daisy. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so Penny's still afraid of me. Penny, why are you afraid of me? I'm gonna brush you. I'm gonna brush you. But she's got all this hard mud on her. Oh, she's shaking a bit. She's got all this hard mud on her. Oh my gosh. And it's everywhere. I can't get it off. Girl. Ah, oh, but she's letting me do it now. A minute ago she wasn't letting me do it because, because I never brush her. Plus I got the blanket on. I don't want her to be all itchy inside her blanket. That's mama's job, isn't it? Mama's gotta come down. Brushing her. It's got to feel good, though. Does it feel good? How do you get these rocks off, so? It's all rock. Dried mud. Rock? Yeah, all those piles of rock. If you can get her other side done, then I can get her blanket on at least, and then you can brush her. Okay, Pen. Oh my gosh. You, that's Just size, leave that for mom because that it's even, not going all the way up here. That size even worse, Penny. What oh have you been God. doing? Yeah. Having a horse is a lot of work, isn't it? Especially when it's not your horse. So Penny was shaking when I put this on her. I think it was either she was afraid of me or the blanket. Or like me and the blanket. Right, so Penny, you're set. Willow, you're all set. And Gracie's all brushed and... Gabby's putting on her blanket. All right, it's such a nice clear day out, Ben. Nice, there's a little frosty on the ground. Are you gonna run now? Yeah, you gonna run? I can. All right. Oh, look at your hair. You gotta get your mom. Oh, you love your dad now? Can you see my dog? She's invisible. Yeah, you love your dad now? No, I said she's invisible. Oh, look, Penny just wants to stay with her dad. Because I took care of her this morning. Now she's going. I wonder if she's going to roll. Oh, no. No rolling at all. Water's frozen. we got to fill it up. Oh, she broke the ice. We broke. we got to fill it up anyways. And we got to put the... not break the ice. Got to put a heater in it. i got another heater. And there it goes. Crazy. Morning guys and welcome to today. We're rushing down to the barn because the farrier is almost here at our house and we've been messing around. Honestly, you guys are gonna see, you guys will have seen Gabby's lesson last night. Holy heck, it was insane. Oh my gosh, somebody's here, we gotta go. Before I have to stay down here for like three hours. Yeah, it's so early. Sophie brought breakfast. She brought that. Pizza spring rolls. Barefoot. Yeah, it's only barefoot, so it doesn't take long. And I got, because it's my birthday tomorrow, a pocket full of chocolate. Sam just went to the store and he brought me back chocolate. Oh, no Gabby, you can treat. have that one. Okay. Oh no, a horse treat next to my chocolate. Gabby, like, I will eat it. <laughs> I will. You want me to? I want to see it. You want to see it? You're not watching. <laughs> we got the ponies and we we're just going to clean them up a bit. I hate eye crest. I'm an eye crest person. Uh, we're gonna get them in order. So Willow's going first. Why is it like this? Is it because Sophie wants to leave as soon as possible? Yeah. yeah. 
And then Penny goes next? No, smallest to biggest. Oh, I see, I see. smaller horses are harder because uh, no, it, it you just bend looks down better. Farther. Smallest to biggest or biggest to smallest. So basically, Sophie gets to leave first, then Gabby, then Laura is the last. Yeah. Yeah. Are we putting them in the arena after them? Are we? Because they're not getting enough grass with the frost? I don't know. It is actually it's so cold. I thought I broke that. Turns out I just almost detached the cable. Yeah, don't break yeah, the lights, yeah, Gabby. I, I fixed it. Broke that too. I fixed it. Yeah, it's probably not good that it, your dad hung it down so low, but I love how bright our barn is. Me so, and Elizabeth almost broke that too, but then we left it for dad to fix. Smart move. <laughs> Just from being down in the barn for like a couple of hours this morning for the farrier and straightening it and cleaning it up, I'm frozen. And it's not even cold, super, super cold. And we're getting ready to go back out to the barn because the girls have to ride. And I better get warm before we go out. Otherwise, I am not gonna be a happy winter girl. So Sophie wanted to take a minute before we leave to show you guys again her collection of bracelets that she has to sell, that she's selling. What's your channel? What's your Instagram page? Um, bracelets underscore by underscore Sophie. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's see if I can get it this time. Bracelets underscore by underscore Sophie. One, two, three, four. Yes. So that is a hard thing. Your Instagram page should be called B Sophie. Bracelets BB Sophie. Bracelets by Sophie. There's too many Instagram accounts that are bracelets by Sophie. BB Sophie. No. Okay. All right. So, so she wants to show you these new ones that she's made that are for sale. And Ruby wants everybody to know that she is here instead. Go. Go. Okay. So she has this beautiful one. What is this inspired by, Sophie? Christmas. Christmas. It's green and silver and blue and white. Oh, it is so gorgeous. So pretty. We should open one and put it on so you can, so they can see it. So this is inspired by Christmas. And uh, this is also a Christmas. This is also a Christmas one, and it is blue and no, it is green and silver, and it is gorgeous. So this is her setup, her kit, and then she has all these other ones that are not Christmassy, but somebody might be interested in them. She can make ones that are custom ordered, but this is a watermelon one. Oh which is a great stocking stuffer. Isn't it beautiful? A watermelon one, super cute, great stocking stuffer. Yellow and white, if your favorite color is yellow, it's so cute. And then this is purple and black, which is really cute. She made that one for Halloween. She made that one for Halloween. Anyway, all these are available on her page and they are $10 shipped to the US because it costs a lot of money to ship to the US. So if you're in the US, you can have it completely shipped for $10, and in Canada, it's $7, right? Shipped. All right, anything? And these two I am making. I'm making a pink, purple, orange, and silver, and then I'm making a blue, teal, and silver. Right, and if you have a custom request, go ahead and hit her up, and she will make you a bracelet, right? And I'm also, it's over there, but I have a red and green one. Red and green one for Christmas too. Or maybe it's your birthstone colors that you want. Whatever you want, Sophie will make it if you're interested. As you guys are watching this, it is my birthday. And for my birthday, I bought myself this. This is something that I love. This is something I used to be into in a huge way, but I got away from. And I think a lot of you guys got away from it too. Every time I start to talk to you, Ruby thinks it's Ruby time. Ever since the advent of digital phones and digital cameras and that kind of stuff i've gotten away from something that used to be a big passion for me and it's this so i found this company called printed memories and i made myself this amazing photo book you guys know i struggle with sitting down at a computer and signing gabby up for horse shows because it's so confusing to me. It's the same thing happens to me when I try and make a digital photo book. And so I've tried like over the years to do them and I and I had never have been able to before. But this book, this gorgeous book was so easy, you guys. I'm gonna show you my book. I love having this. You can put dates, you can put, see this is when it's January 2021. January 2021 with my girl. And my girl again but in this book I have this entire year 
all the things that we did this year, all the things that were so exciting to me in the last year, Stormy Knight and his girl, Stormy Knight and his girl, and Chino and his girl. This is back when Gabby liked to brush her hair and wear makeup. All these beautiful professional pictures I had taken, and some of them even not professional, ones that I took myself. Like, who doesn't love a daisy dog in a book? <laughs> Uh, Gabby riding and Molly and just a bunch of horse shows and pictures that I've loved over the years. There's so many more. I'm skipping over all of them, but just the books, just the pictures that I really want to keep and save and preserve for my family. Pictures that I want to pass down from generation to generation. I want to have a, a book. I want to have paper. This is so much better than any other photo album I've ever had in my entire life ever like this is like a beautiful picture book that tells the story of our last year and our journey with our horses like I love it like I want to remember that day that Finn took Sophie from being a horse that Gab her sister had to ride in shows and forfeit a whole year of showing to get him used to showing from that to him taking Sophie around the jumper ring and coming reserve champion of the year. Like, that's incredible. I just, I just want to remember all of it and even my family at Thanksgiving. So, um, it's important to me to have memories like this, but more importantly, I'm never gonna make memories like this unless it's so super easy. And I'm gonna show you guys really quick how I did this because if this could be as easy for me, it could be that easy for you. And maybe it's something that you wanna pursue as well. All right, so this is the website that I used and I did this all on my phone and I can't see very well, small things. So this is even more incredible. I went to the Printed Memories website. I'll put the link in the, in the description box. You build your book. And then it comes to this page here where it says relive, relive your 2021. So I can choose to make a Facebook book, a uh, Facebook book, an Instagram book, or my images. So for me, getting all my pictures together is just too difficult. So I pick the year that I want. We're going to do 2021. I'm going to pick my Instagram pictures. Then I have to log into my Instagram account. And then within seconds, my photo book is up here. So within seconds, as soon as I log into my account, Every single picture that I have posted in the last year will come up. And obviously I don't want all the same pictures. So if I don't want a picture in my book, I click on it. So I don't want these pictures because they're not actually pictures. Just click it. Scroll. Click. Click. All the pictures I don't want in my book. Love that picture of Willow. That's all I'm gonna do, oops. That's all I'm gonna do. Just click the ones that I don't want from the last year. Love that picture of Chino. So once I click all the ones off that I don't want, I can go down to the bottom, click preview photos, I can scroll, whoops, scroll through. I can rearrange them, rearrange however I want them on my pages. It only takes a second. I just click them and, and print. I don't even do that. I just skip that stage. It's so easy. Build my book. Yes, I'm ready to build my book. And in seconds, my book is done. This literally takes me five minutes. It took me five minutes to make this book. There are a few customizable features, like you can choose to like type headings on each page or you can type little things about them to so that you remember what was happening in the picture or you can put a title on the front of your cover i chose not to do that because i wanted to just be in and out fast as anything mine says my 2021 on facebook and you can choose to turn that off not have any words not anything but literally five minutes to click off the pictures you don't want in your book go to your cart sign out and it came this book came to me in less than a week that's how fast it came and i love it i hope you guys if any of you guys are interested in getting a book then 
go ahead follow the link below and it will take you to this website but it's something so easy anyone can do it on your phone on your computer and you can get this amazing book and i love it i love the book i love the company super easy and that's what made it so special for me and that's what step that's what made this uh website different than the rest was that it only literally was seconds it went right to my account took all my pictures from the year and said like if i didn't want to not put any of those pictures i could have just went right to the to the cart and checked out and had my full book for the whole year but anyway that's it i wanted to share that with you guys i wanted to share my amazing book from printed memories that i love i'll definitely be ordering more in fact i'm thinking about making smaller books for both my girls for their horse journey over time and see um and give it to them for christmas so definitely a great christmas present especially for grandparents so finn did not have a blanket on gabby says that she found the blanket in the field nothing's broken on it just the front straps are like that so we forgot to take that off so basically i think sophia just did not close this like do that up and then i just so you think Finn, Finn doesn't like pink? No, I think it was just Sophia's fault. You think it was Sophia's fault? I don't think she did these up. Like did them up like that. I'm gonna look back on the video, but I think they were done up. I don't think they were. Was this? Because nothing the else is broken. Were all the straps together when you found it? Oh, the, I just found it on the ground. We're we all, walked over we're there. Were all the straps on that were clipped on? Yeah, they're all clipped on. He just slipped out the front. Good thing that we came and we love you, Finny boy, or you would have been frozen. Yes, yeah, the blanket that the, you took off. <laughs> like, not mine. The thing is, Finn doesn't take off blankets. I know. Ever. And he got it dirty. Where I clipped it up, it has. A oh, you gap. you actually clipped it up? Yeah, I clipped it up. So uh, has, well, we, we didn't clip like it up. That. Yeah, we we just thought it was attached already. No, I didn't know that you were supposed to clip that up. I didn't know either. See, there's a little dent right there. Oh. And Sophia says no dent. Well, yeah, because we didn't know. But I thought they were just attached. I thought no, they, they were weren't. Just... All right, so it was your fault, and he probably didn't have a blanket all night. It's taller now that I've been riding thin, but then it's just. Yeah, he does look taller. All right, come on, let's go because we got to get I riding. I just have to attack up. So I'm frozen today, and I want to show you guys that there is actually ice outside now. Everyone hates mud with horses, but then once you have ice, mud doesn't seem so bad because at least it covers the ice and gives and gives them like a softer footing to walk on. All right, we need help. We need help, we're trying to figure something out and we need your help. Asking for your help doesn't mean that we're gonna necessarily take your advice. I wanna see what you guys think in this choice. Like, so, uh, okay, you guys know Chino is the weirdest horse. One day we come and he's stiff in the back right and then we're like, oh, okay, and we figure it all out and then the next day we come and he's stiff in the back left but the right is fine and then two days later we come and he's not stiff anywhere in the back and he's off in the front right and then we're like okay and we figure it out we do the best we can and then we come three days later and he's stiff in the opposite front so anyways i don't know i feel like we have an opportunity to lease another horse and bring chino home and let chino and, and take time to figure chino out or we can continue to try and improve chino and figure him out and still ride him like Gabby hasn't jumped him since September and now it's like December. Like we don't know what we want to do, but Gabby has a choice to continue working with Chino or lease another horse and bring Chino home. What do you guys think? She believes in Chino. I believe in Chino. She likes the idea of leasing another horse, but we still believe in Chino. Like, I don't know what to do. Like Chino still is, so good in so many ways like he was stiff today but she rode him and he worked right out of it and we have a chiropractor coming again to see if that will make any difference like for his so that he's not stiff at all but where he was stiff is different than where he's ever been stiff before like it's such a he's such a funny horse like he's like don't call me funny yes i won't <laughs> anyways what do you guys think i don't know ultimately i'm gonna figure it out with our coach and Gabby because only she knows what
she wants to do. And you believe in Chino, don't, don't, don't you? Know what to do. She doesn't even know what to do. You know what I think? What? Because it's bright pink. <laughs> Lucky. I said, well, we'll be able to spot it since it's bright pink. Yeah. Unless it's flipped over. Alright, so let's make sure that the blanket is on right. Alright, so. I've left my purse somewhere. My correct correction. Alright. Gotta go like this. And I gotta go. Yeah. Like so that was the mistake we made. We didn't know that you had to do it up. Like we thought it came done up, but it didn't. It apparently did not. Apparently did not. <laughs> we're gonna look in the video from yesterday. We're gonna see. I'm so sad about this. So, so, so sad. Finn does not usually break. Finn is never hard on blankets. Knock on wood and never gets them dirty. It was just my fault. It was our fault. You gotta move. I'm just sad he's a dirty pink now. I'm going to the car though because I'm frozen you guys. I'm frozen beyond frozen. I can't hack it anymore. I need heat. Door! Everybody okay? Ooh, I'm in the barn. I'm in the barn and it is night. Ooh, and I'm cold. I'm so cold. What's happening? What's happening, Penny Pickle? Hello. I'm here for a special reason. Special reason. How do you get all dirty again? I brushed you so many times today. So Penny's been struggling with thrush. I think I told you guys. And then kind of took a turn to the worst in between farrier visits. So I did what she wanted me to do and it didn't get better. So I'm looking for some duct tape and I can't find anything. We have our ta tack trunk still packed from champs and that was the dumbest thing because now it's cold ah heck i got so much of this stuff so anyways i so when the farrier came today i said like her thrush is getting a little worse and i said i feel like because it's not responding to the iodine stuff that maybe she has something different there's like another kind of thrush or like a, some kind of bacterial thing that looks like thrush and does the same thing as thrush but isn't quite thrush so I said I wanted you to look at it and then I was going to use the special formula which is this thing that I have that I get from the vet. And she said, oh, where did you get that? And I said I got it from my vet. <laughs> and she said that she's been recommending this stuff for years. She says it's the best stuff you can get. But then a lot of vets won't give it to people to put in their ho horse's hooves because it's made for cows with mastitis. But this stuff, I'm telling you, Storm has struggled with the thrush for two years and and finally we got a different vet like sometimes a different vet will come then then like we there's three or four different vets at our place and um a different vet will come and so a different vet came one day and he said oh here i'll give you this stuff this stuff works really good and i went and bought like seven of them ten of them i think i bought so many i have i just found four so I give them to friends sometimes too. If your horse is having a really hard time with thrush and it doesn't clear up no matter what you do, this could work. So anyway, I'm trying to make a duct tape boot for Penny and put this stuff in her foot, get her healed up. Incidentally, hardly any of our other horses have thrush, which is also why it makes me feel like it's that other thing that looks like thrush. You guys, I'm so cold, I can't hack it. All right, in. come on, Ruby, Ruby. Oh, even Daisy ran in. All right, let's see. Do our ponies remember where they live? Do they remember where their stalls are? I brushed her. Get out of my way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and they know. All right. All right, it's the worst looking duck take boot that I ever saw, but you know what? It's what it is. It is what it is. Special formula stuff is, am is amazing. I love like how you just stick that in the hole and squish it down in there. It's so good. So, oh, this is the light. Wow. It lights up <laughs> the smallest amount. Good though, I can't see nothing. Yeah, that's perfect, Sam. Good point, actually. I mean, if I put a couple more. Yeah, let's get us a couple more. It'd be good. We could ride out here. We could do nighttime riding. Oh, you can kind of see. We're gonna do nighttime riding. Yeah. 
All right, well, good job, Sam. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. I never say that, but everybody else does. It sounded good. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?